Hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. In today's video we're going to take a close look at a GMK Tech product. But this is an older AMD Ryzen model. And the reason I wanted to check it out because this can be interesting for some application including emulation. They are getting cheaper and cheaper. But how is it with emulation and is it still worth picking up? Because this is the AMD Ryzen 5000 series, the number 7. At the back we're finding the display port, HDMI, two USB ports, two RG45s, an input for the power supply, a lot of ventilation, which you can just see on the sides and at the front, a very nice green on off switch, headphone, that type C, and we're having two USB 3.0 ports. Alright, it's time for the wicked nerdy time with the CPU Z. So the name is the AMD Ryzen 7 Mobile 5700U. So it's also known by the Socket FP6. It's a 7 nanometer technology. So the specifications in total we're having 8 cores and 16 threads. Let's go to the main board where it says GMK Tech. Memory DDR4 in total 32 gigabytes with this particular model. And you can just see we're having dual slot over there. All right, so the graphic is going to be the AMD Ryzen graphics. And I found it quite unfortunate, and you will see throughout the testing, is that, and that's one of the reasons I do like the Ryzen's, but the 5000 series, mm, I will show you what I mean when it comes to more, let's say, demanding games. But let's get into some emulation. So starting off with some 4K emulation with Dolphin and GameCube. So when it comes to the particular emulation of the F-Zero GX, of course, you can see that it struggles big time with the 5000 series AMD. We can lower it, but I just wanted to see how overall 4K emulation will be on this device. So where I want to go in further with the 4K render resolution, the GameCube did have some overall, let's say, okay performance, but the PlayStation 2 is absolutely horrible. So let's scale this down to 1080p and just try some games then. Okay, so let's lower it to 1080p and now you can just see that it runs perfectly. So maybe we can even upscale it to 2K resolution, but we still have some power left, hitting 74% of the GPU being used, but so far, so good on 1080p. <laughs>
strongest will be chosen. Wallow in despair. I'm not afraid anymore. Battle one. Fight. <laughs> So one of the noticeable things with the 5000 series is that loading times with the PlayStation 3 emulator are significantly longer than all the other newer generation of the Ryzen. Of course I kept an obvious moment, but just wanted to point out that it can take up quite a long time for loading up the game itself. Okay, so when it comes to the JMK Tech 5000 series, it's a very cool piece of technology, but when it comes to, let's say, newer generation, let's say Windows gaming, you're missing out a lot of power, and 4K emulation, it's not going to be happening anytime soon on this thing, and we just need to have more power, like the 6 or 7000 or later on versions coming out in the future. Let me know in the comments what you think, do you still think it's worth it when you're going to pick it up for not a lot of money? Thank you all for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and it will be great to see you in the next video. And we cannot really upgrade it. It's not a downside.